anemia. A close call for a Northeast Ohio tow truck driver. He is in the hospital and says he is lucky to be alive. Tonight, he has a message to drivers on the road. I was thinking I'm going to die right here. It was 8 o'clock Thursday morning on Interstate 77. When I heard those brakes hit the car, I was already on the ground. It, was, it just all happened that fast. Sean McDowell, a tow truck driver, was doing a favor for a friend. I was helping a friend. I wasn't even technically working, and I just got blasted. The 37-year-old told us he climbed out of the passenger side door. His lights were flashing, and he was wearing his bright yellow safety vest. That's when a 16-year-old plowed into his friend's disabled vehicle on the side of the road that he says caused a chain reaction. I was underneath the vehicle, like, looking up at the muffler of the car. I was, like, dead center of it, and I knew right then and there I was thinking, I'm going to die right here. But he was lucky. He survived with a broken shoulder, a broken foot, and a dislocated shoulder. Now from his hospital bed, he is urging drivers to obey Ohio's move over law. The law requires drivers approaching any vehicles with flashing or rotating lights parked on the side of the road to move over to an adjacent lane or slow down. You hear sometimes about like police getting hit by uh, passing cars and stuff, but I, I really don't think like people actually get the how serious it is. I'm, I'm very fortunate to be alive. The Ohio State Highway Patrol had a recent enforcement and awareness campaign focused on the move over law. Nearly 600 drivers were cited. Mike. Three people now dead 